go. Hi, I'm Howard Lee, and after loads of requests, this is my 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 second Iron Man drawing challenge. The video and timer are both playing at double speed. I'm taking my time at the start of this drawing to mark out Iron Man's features for his face because they're so important to the look. They're very simple, but if you get them wrong, if you put the eyes in the wrong place, or if you draw them slightly big, too big or too small, it's not going to look like Iron Man at all. I'm just using a fine black pen for this section, and later on I'm going to use the Copic Airbrush system. With the upper part of Iron Man's helmet being sketched in, we're starting to get a feel for the overall image. Now I'm bringing out some rulers to act as a mask for the edges of the box, because I'm spraying in the background using the Copic Airbrush system. That background colour has really helped to define the edge of Iron Man we can see now where he is. The colour scheme for this artwork was largely inspired by the promotional artwork for the Endgame movie. The posters had a kind of blue purple haze and that's something I've tried to recreate in this 10 minute artwork. So I've sprayed a red to indicate where Iron Man's body is. There's not much realism to the image at the moment. So I'm using a cool grey to mark in the shadows and to give it a feeling of 3D. I've marked out the shadows for the jawline and the lower sections of the torso. And now I'm using a white Prismacolor just to find the edge of the head and pick out some highlights. And that white pencil is really, really helping to contrast the shadows, to define the edges, and just to give it a feeling of a little bit more realism. A white soft pastel is also helping me to give some much needed highlights, to give the idea that light is hitting a 3D form from one side. We're under the minute mark now and I'm still sketching in those highlights. I'm doing a very quick bit of work with a charcoal pencil in this last 30 seconds. A little bit of an unfortunate scribble on the face but I've saved that with a rolled paper blender. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get the guys away. It's, it's a bit of a hazy impression, but it definitely looks like Iron Man. I quite like the glowing aspect of it. It's got that sort of purpley, hazy feeling that the end game advertising has. Yeah, I'll take that for the 10 minutes. I'm gonna have a quick adjustment for the one minute. Three, two, one, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time is up. You probably have noticed that my video has disappeared and I've been replaced by a little cartoon of myself. That's because my video stopped working as I was drawing and the best I can do is give you a little drawing of me and now I'm narrating this. So. Apologies for the fact that the videos disappeared there. Let's have a little think about the success of the one minute. It's okay. It's not my best work. Uh, it's not my worst. I'm thinking it does look like Iron Man. A bit. It's kind of got his face. It's got a bit of the colour. In style, it's really just a doodle. The one minute and the ten seconds are never good on these challenges. And yeah. That's kind of average. Now I'm just gonna have a quick rearrange for the 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I've, tr <laughs> I've tried to do something with the eyes and the jawline and I stupidly tried to get the airbrush out because there's loads of time in 10 seconds for airbrushing and it hasn't worked. One good thing about the 10 second drawing is that it actually makes the one minute look kind of good. Now, when I first did that 10 minute Iron Man, I wasn't so sure about it. I kind of thought, yeah, it's a bit hazy, doesn't have so much realism, but next to the one minute and the 10 seconds, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy, it's looking pretty Pretty intense, pretty moody. It's got the shadows, got the highlights. Got a, few, got a couple of colors, got some tonal variation. And that is quite a difficult thing to do in 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, gonna, just gonna be honest and say I'm quite happy with that 10 minutes. Well, all there is left for me to say at this point, seeing as I've lost my uh, side video feed, is thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the challenge. Until next time, join me in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see in 10 minute challenge or even in some flipbooks. And this, this is a bit of a spoiler actually, but um, I'm gonna dedicate this video to the memory of Iron Man after Endgame. That's not really gonna be a spoiler for many people, is it?